and welcome to the LUFC vlog. Today we're talking about the Bristol City game. If you want reaction to any of the other Leeds United games this season, you can check them out on my channel. Um, and also by the way, 100 subscriber special is coming out soon. Um, so make sure to stick around for that. But yeah, let's get on with the Bristol City game. So today we won 1-0 against Bristol City. People say, you know, the results, three points is all that matters. Um... I, you know, in this case it is, but the performance was for the very good. The first half was terrible. Um, it was abysmal. I think it wasn't the worst I've ever seen in terms of perform like actual performance, but it was definitely one of the worst I've seen in terms of entertainment. I think we had about one shot, and that was Carriol blasting the ball about 10 feet over the goal. Um... Yeah, so it was just terrible, and I know I know a lot of people boo at halftime. I don't normally boo because I'm not really a big fan of that. Um, but the thing is, and I had a lot of things, you know, it's a lack of effort. I don't think it was a lack of effort. I think it was a lack of um, just quality. You know, I think they were trying hard. I think every single one of them was trying hard. I think every single one of them wanted to do well at this United. I just think... They just don't have the ability, and I, I don't think it was anybody who wasn't trying hard enough. Second half, um, we looked a bit better. I think they got a bit bollocking at half time from Steve Evans. Um, it looked a bit better, but still started quite slow. It took a while to get into the scheme of things. Chris Wood comes on now. I think Chris Wood did brilliantly when he came on, and I can see why he hasn't started. And you know. Um, I think it's right to say he's not starting, but he did look very good when he came on. You know, he set up to Carver's goal, he's winning headers, he's playing great passes, winning corners, he was doing everything right. And I think the fans now realise, you know, how key he is to the team. He was really good. He sets up to Carver and to Carver scores. And Carver hasn't been playing that well, you know. I think my problem with Carver holds onto the ball too long, doesn't hold up players well. Um, not, I don't know, he just doesn't close down quick enough. He just doesn't feel as good, not as good as passing. Doesn't feel as good as Chris Wood. But he scored. And I mean, he has three goals in four games. So, we have we have Brentford game on Tuesday. Now, Antonucci also looked very good coming on. You know, and it was a real spark. Now, I think personally, Antonucci and Wood both played better. Both play better than um, Takava. But Takava's scoring goals. You can't put him on the bench, surely, because... You know, with three goals in four games. Um, and I don't know what to do exactly. Um, you could just not start Antonucci. But would Wood and DeCarver work? I'm not entirely sure on that. Um, could start Antonucci and Wood, which I think would work. But then DeCarver, if I was DeCarver, I'd be quite mad about that. You know, not being played when I'm scoring goals. So, um, I don't know. I'd like to know anyone's opinion on that. But um, I I'm struggling to find, find an answer. Um... I think maybe I mean, you could put Takava on the left, you know, we can play there. Carriol today didn't look as good as he has in the previous matches. Even then, dropping Carriol may be a bit harsh. You could try Wood and Takava, and maybe we should actually, because we haven't really seen that, you know, we haven't seen them play like that before, you know, and seen them play together. But they're very similar, and I'm not sure whether it would really work. So, um, I, I'm not entirely sure. Please leave a comment down below on what you think. But yeah, so today's performance pretty much was just. Um, they did what they needed to do, and, you know, it wasn't pretty, but they won. Um, but I've noticed that they're just, they're not playing well. I mean, in the last few games, they played, you know, they played all right, and they haven't got anything out of the game. Today, they didn't play particularly well, played pretty poorly, and they've won. It doesn't make much sense, but I guess that's the championship for you. But that's all for me today. Make sure to stick around for my 100 subscribers special. Please subscribe for more on United and, um, other football-related videos. Other than that, though... See ya. Come on, I almost forgot to do shout outs again. Um, today shout outs are LJ2 Lucas Baker um, and Football Skills 18. Both links should be in the description. If not, um, I have their names and you can type them into the search engine. Um, but yeah, um, sorry about that and see ya.